Hey y'all, um, it is 8 a.m. in the morning and we had our freeze last night and so I think right now it's 30 degrees so I think it hit down to about 26 last night. So I'm going to walk you down here and ha let's have a look and see how all everything looks. I did not cover a thing. I did move all my containers inside so those are protected but whatever's out here if it made it it made it if it didn't it didn't so let's go have a look and see. Okay. I like the way the garden looks in the morning. It's always so pretty. <laughs> well, the cabbage is still here, which is wonderful because I haven't really checked on it. And you know that if you watched my video last time, I'm trying this little rope trick to see if I can keep the rabbits away. So far, it's working. It's been, um, I guess, over a week now. Those two right there are the only things I've left exposed. That one looks like the frost got it a little bit, but we'll see how these do. Hopefully, they'll all pop back fine. Okay, these are just my covered beds. Looks like the greens are okay. I harvested a bunch of the spinach the other day. And I'll show you a video on that later. Uh, the purple coneflower echinacea looks great. The mustard and cabbage and the sugar snap peas are, you know, they're not too, they don't look too bad. And here's some right here. So it looks like everything tolerated the frost. I'll know better uh, once it gets up above freezing I can take a better look at this vegetation and see but um, looks about like the way I expected it there's the hyssop and the parsley valerian uh, it looks like it got a little hit a little bit shallots of course are beautiful thyme unaffected completely unaffected okay here are some of the containers that I brought in these are ones I definitely felt like I needed to bring them in because I was unsure about the tarragon. I knew the basil and the tomatoes needed to come in, but I was unsure about the tarragon. And so anyway, these are the ones I brought inside. And the tree has to stay in until after my last frost date. It comes in before the first frost date and goes out after the last frost date. <laughs> it is ready to go outside. Oh, and it looks like that one is frozen. Okay, there's the outrageous lettuce. Looks fine. The parsley looks, you know, it's some of that's going to yellow, I know, but I, it'll be fine, I do believe. Cabbage shows a little bit of shock from the frost. The elfin thyme. Let's just have a look. The lettuce did okay. Rosemary, of course, did okay. Some more thyme, okay. I was uh, there's the fennel. So the chamomile. All right, the lettuce looks pretty good, and then there's the calendula. So I'll know better once it gets up above freezing, and I'll do another one more walkthrough real quick uh, this afternoon, just so we can take a look at the vegetation after it's warmed up a little bit. Okay, it's about probably um, 50 degrees now, so I'm gonna walk through here. It's been it's about four hours later from when I just uh, walked through here, just to take one more peek. See how everything's doing. Everything looks great. The valerian popped back a little bit. You remember seeing how it looked about four hours ago. So it's going to be fine. And of course the sugar snap peas are fine. Okay, and here is the um, red giant mustard. It looks good too. Spinach looks nice. Tarragon did fine. One little tarragon there. Now the leaves are all happy again. You might remember four hours ago they were kind of curling up a little bit, but they're nice now. Okay, and those are potatoes there, and they look fine too. You guys have a wonderful day, and we'll see you again soon.